In today's video, we are going to be breaking down a couple of different Philippines basketball plays that they are using it at the FIBA level, but also that you can use as well at the younger high school or middle school level as well. So let's get down. Let's check out a couple of these plays. I know you're going to absolutely love them. Okay, so in this first play, what we are going to have is basically an offset of two players. What we're going to essentially have is a lightning bolt style setup and what we're going to start with is of course that top player cutting across the key and this player here setting a screen for the player who was out on the free throw line extended this is going to end up being a staggered screen and this player is going to end up posting up in the low post our number one option is to get that ball to the player who was popping from that free throw line extended. Now, what we are running here is not an actual sideline inbounds. However, you can run it as a sideline inbounds as well. After that staggered screen, what we're going to be looking at is a player who is cutting towards the net could be an option for a pass we could also have the option in the low post for an isolation style play now we're gonna then end up with a screen up top and that player is going to either use that screen and pass to the player cutting down the middle of the court or set up for a three-point shot so you could run this a couple of different ways either as a play or as a sideline inbounds what we do see here, however, is a pass to the middle of the key, and we have a layup. We have another player who is cutting from the three-point line as well, but ultimately we want to make that layup. We want to be able to get those points, but in this case, that defensive player was able to block that shot. So in this next play, we're going to be set up three players around the key, two in the low post, one in the high post on the opposite side of the inbounds, and then we're going to have a player at the point who runs towards the ball. We're going to get that inbounds, and then what we're going to have is a quick screen down for the low post player on this side. Now, there's a couple of different options here, but what we do want to see is the player on this side popping out to the free throw line extended, the player here popping out towards the three point line, the dribble handoff with the staggered screen, after that staggered screen, we can hit up that three-point shot, or what could also happen is if this player drives towards the net, he can kick it out for a three if this man comes down and defends. The other option is hitting up the last screener who is rolling towards the basket. However, you would want to come out just a bit wider to try and draw that defensive player towards you so you could make that pass to player five who would be cutting towards the rim. This is a great play to run if you're looking to score off of a sideline inbounds. Of course, he does make that three-point shot. Okay, so now in our last play that we're going to be checking out, it's a five-out offense. I really like the five-out. There's two plays that I really like, triangle and five-out. Those are the sets that I really personally love. And what we're going to have here is a pass to the wing really quickly. Corner, wing, point, high post, low post. And, of course, what we're going to have is a point to wing pass. And then we're going to have a screen away for the wing on this side. And then we're going to have the corner coming up and setting a back screen on this player. This is actually a very interesting play to run, especially at the FIBA level. This can give this player a couple of different options as a wing player. Now this play specifically you can run for one of your best players on your team. Also definitely make sure to check out my 5 out complete guide down in the description below. However the player here decides to pop up instead of cutting back door and that is something that is what you could run if you have a very good 3 point shooter and of course he bangs that shot however what you could see also is if he was to cut baseline, then what you can have is this player going to set another screen for this screener who could come off that screen and now this player would still have another option where it wouldn't just be that player cutting towards the net back door. You would also have the initial screener popping up for a three. This player can also cut through if he's not open and set a back screen for that player. So there's a couple of different options off of this. 
If you're looking for basketball equipment, make sure to go check out the links down in the description below. I hope that you have enjoyed today's video. If you have, hit that like button, subscribe, and I will see you guys again next time.